So we're going to cover uh, page 58 of um, Singapore Math. This is a uh, book 4B. It's the textbook Primary Math U.S. Edition. Page 58. Uh, this is how to divide. Um, and uh, now we're at the point now where we're not going to use remainders anymore. So this is how you divide for reals. Okay. So if we look at the example in the book, we're going to divide what by what, Eliana? Divided by yeah, that means you take five pairs and you share it with four people. Now, is that going to work out evenly? Is everybody going to get one, po one pair? No, it's going to be like some fractional answer, isn't it? So we put the five, that's the number we're dividing, inside, and we put the four on the outside. Right? So the number that you're dividing by goes on the in outside, the number you're dividing goes on the inside. So step one is pretty easy. So four goes into five how many times once? We do one times four is four, five minus four is one. Okay, and you have one left over. Now, if you were doing kindergarten math, you'd just write re remainder one, right? We're not going to do that, though. What we do next is we add a zero, so 5.0. Now we're dividing 5.0 by 4. Is 5.0 the same as 5? Uh, no. 5.0, yes. it is exactly the same as 5, right? It's zero tenths. So zero tenths is the same as zero, so you're adding zero tenths to 5. It's no change, right? So 4 goes into 5 one time, 4... 5 minus 4 is 1. Then we bring down the 0. Now we have 10. How many times does 4 go into 10? The answer is right there in the Two book. Times. 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. We still have a remainder, so we have to keep going. So let's add another 0. Is 5.00 the same as 5? 5.0, yes. Yes, it is. So now we have 20. So we bring down the 0. Now we have 20. 4 times what gets you close to 20? Four times five. five. So 20 minus 20 is zero. So there's our answer, 1.25. Right? Pretty fun, huh? It's pretty easy. The The trick is you just keep adding zeros. Okay? Until you get a zero at the bottom. Until you're done. You just keep adding zeros until you're done. Okay? Let's do 8.1 divided by 6. So 8.1, does that go on the inside or outside? Outside. No. Inside. Inside. That's right. The number we're dividing okay. by goes on the outside. So 8.1, build a house on top of it. Now we're going to have 6 knocking at the door. So 6 goes into 8 one time. So 8 minus 6 is 2. And then we just bring down that 1. So now we have 21. 6 goes into 21 how many times? 3 times. 3 times. 6 times 3 is 18. 21 minus 18 is 3. And then we add a 0 and bring it down. Now we have 30. So 6 goes into 30 how many times? 5 times. 5. So 5 times 6 is 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. So the answer is 6 goes into 8.10 1.35 times. Okay. So next time you have 8.1 pizzas and you want to share it with 6 people, give each person 1.35 pizzas, okay? All right. Now we're going to do some exercises down here. So I'm going to write these out so we can see what we're doing. So we're going to do number 16A. And Eliana, you got to help me, okay? Are you going to help me? Why are you using several different pens? Because I like colors. Colors are cool. So the first one is... 30.4, oh, that's wrong. 30.4 divided by 5 Whoa. equals something. So Whoa. what do we do? What's the first thing we do? We put it in a farm division thing. Okay, so which one goes on the inside, which one goes on the outside? 5 goes on the inside? No. no 4 goes on the inside. What? 4 goes on the inside? No. Where's the 4? Yeah, let's so build a house around 30.4. Okay, there we go. All right. Five goes into three how many times? Five goes into three. So if I have three apples and five zero people, times. zero times. We're not going to write a zero. What about five goes into 30? Six times. Six. Six times five is? Thirty. Thirty minus thirty is zero. Zero. Bring down the four. Five goes into four how many times? Zero. Zero times. So we gotta bring this point up, right? So six point zero. Up oh, we have a remainder of four. What do we do now? We add a zero next to We it. add a zero. And that zero comes down here. Five goes into forty how many times? Eight times. Eight times. And forty minus forty is 
zero. They were done. 6.08. So the answer is 6.08. Is that easy? Okay. And you know, you said earlier, I don't understand. And you're not supposed to understand. You're just supposed to do what the instructions say to do. Okay. And you'll see how it comes all together. Right, let's do the next one. This is number B. 16B. We have 12 divided by 8. What's that? What do we do? What's the first thing we do? 12, go, uh, 12 goes on the inside. 12 goes on the inside, that's and right. And you write a 0. 0.0, no, point zero. Well, Let's you might need a point 0.0, you don't know. Yeah. We can write it anyway if we want to. And what, what do we put over here? The 8. The 8. Alright, 8 goes into 1 how many times? 0. I'm not going to write a 0. 8 goes into 12 how many times? Once. Once, and 8 times 1 is? 8. 8. 12 minus 8 is? Mm. 4. 4. Very good. Now what do we do? Do we bring down the point or do we bring down the 0? Zero? 0. You bring down the 0. 8 goes into 40 how many times? 5. 5 times. Do we put the point up top where it goes? So what's the answer? Yeah. What? You're 1.5. 1.5. Very good. All right. That's the way it do it's done. Let's walk through some more practice problems. Um, let's do. Let's do A, B. Let's do. Let's do this. Let's do A and D, and people at home can do the rest on their own with their parent or whoever's helping them. Okay. So 17A. So we have 8 divided by 5 equals what? So what do we do, Eliana? 8 goes on the inside. 8 goes on the inside. on the inside. 5 goes on the outside. And then 5 goes into 8 once. Once. And 5 times 1 is 5. 5. And 8 minus 5 is 3. 3. And then you write a 0 next to the 8 and put a point in it. Oh, put a point. That's right. That's good. Now and what? then you bring down a 0. Good. And then 5 goes into 36 times. 6 times. 5 times 6 is 30, 30, and you subtract and you get 0. Okay, so the answer is 16? 1.6. 1.6, that's right. This decimal point has got to come up. 1.6, good job. Isn't the decimal point very important in decimals? Oh, it's absolutely important in decimals. It's kind of the whole point of decimals. Okay, 0 0.9 divided by 2. What do we do? The, nine, the, the 0 0.9 goes in the end. Two goes on the outside. Two goes into zero times. Two times zero. Mhm. Mm I'm not gonna write that. Okay. And then two goes into nine four times. Two times four is eight. Eight nine minus zero is one. Okay. Write a zero point zero next to the nine. A point zero? We already have a point. Oh, zero. Just a zero, right? Bring okay. Down the zero. Okay. And then 2 goes into 10 five times. Okay. Five, 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract it and you get 0. So what's the answer? 0 0.45. That's right. The point has to go up there. Sometimes I forget to put on the point. And it's kind of important, isn't it? Um, so anyway, that's how you do division with, uh, you know, adding your own zeros if you need them. So hope you have fun. Bye.